Today, we're going to show you how to program your automatic yard watering system. The system is expandable up to four programmable outlets. Orbit timers are the simplest timers to program and use. Let's get started. Programming is done by turning the dial counterclockwise following these steps. First, you'll need to set the current time. Turn the dial to set clock. Use the plus and minus buttons to select the current time of day. Hold down the buttons to scroll more quickly to the desired time. Pay particular attention to the AM and PM. Once you've set the current time, turn the dial to set day. Use the arrows to select the current date. After you've set the date, turn the dial to start time to set when you would like watering to begin. Each start time cycles through all watering stations that has at least one minute of runtime. This timer allows you to have up to three cycles or runtimes. Only one cycle is required to use the timer. However, multiple cycles can be helpful when watering lawns and gardens to allow water to saturate the ground between cycles. Use the arrows to select A, B, or C cycle. Use the plus and minus buttons to select the time you would like watering to begin on each cycle. Hold down the buttons to scroll more quickly to the desired time. Now that you've set the watering start times for one or all cycles, turn the dial to run time. Select the station you would like to program by pressing the arrow button to switch between stations. Use the plus and minus buttons to enter how long you want the timer to water, from 1 to 240 minutes for each outlet. If a station does not have at least one minute of runtime, it will be skipped during the watering cycles. Once you've set the watering duration, turn the dial to how often. Finally, you'll want to tell the timer how often to water. Use the arrow buttons to toggle between days of the week and press enter to select specific days, or toggle to interval and then use the plus and minus buttons to choose anywhere from once a day up to every 14th day. All stations and cycles will water on the selected interval. Now that you've set the watering schedule, turn the dial to auto. Congratulations! Your timer is now programmed. As long as your dial is in auto, your timer will water according to program time, station, duration, and frequency. To stop all watering, turn the dial to off. To use your faucet manually, without interrupting the set program, simply press the manual button while the dial is turned to auto. When you first press the manual button, press enter to run all stations as programmed. If you want to enter your own time, use the arrow buttons to select which station to water. Use the plus and minus buttons to enter how long you want the timer to water, from 1 to 240 minutes for each station. Once watering has finished, the timer will automatically resume your programmed watering schedule. To stop manual watering, turn the dial to off. Turn the dial back to auto to resume your programmed watering schedule. Rain delay allows you to postpone watering for a set period of time. To access the rain delay, press the plus button with the dial turned to auto. Select 24, 48, or 72 hours. After the set period of time, the timer will resume scheduled programming. To manually remove a rain delay, turn the dial to off and then back to auto. Maintenance and winterizing are important and will prolong the life of your hose faucet timer. When expecting freezing temperatures, timers should be removed from the hose faucet and stored indoors, above freezing temperatures, to avoid potential freeze damage. The inlet filter traps dirt particles. Clean filter regularly and replace if it's worn. Now sit back and relax and let the Orbit Yard Watering System take over your watering for you.